Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. This video provides an overview of how to properly install the CPSU photoelectric sensor on a LiftMaster commercial door operator. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. The procedures demonstrated should only be performed by trained professional installers and service technicians. Safe operation and servicing requires that you follow all instructions and safety advisories found in the manual. To locate a trained professional installer or service technician, go to liftmaster.com slash locate a dealer. When properly connected and aligned, the photoelectric sensor will detect an obstruction in the path of its beam. If an obstruction breaks the beam while the door is closing, the operator will stop and typically reverse to the full open position. If a mid-stop is programmed, it will stop at the mid-stop position. The photoelectric sensors must be mounted facing each other across the entrapment zone at a height no more than 6 inches above the floor. For this demonstration, we'll be installing CPSU photoelectric sensors on a commercial door with a Logic 5 operator. These should be mounted at a width between 7 and 30 feet apart. Hardware and instructions for mounting and wiring vary for other LiftMaster photoelectric sensors. Follow the instructions that come with the product you're installing. Disconnect the power to the operator before beginning the installation. We've already marked the locations and drilled holes after using the mounting bracket as a template. When you assemble the mounting bracket, be sure to just finger tighten the nuts because you'll need to loosen them again to adjust the sensor alignment. Attach the mounting brackets to the solid surface using the provided hardware. Loosen the nuts and slide the mounting bracket to adjust the photoelectric sensors so that the path between the sensors is unobstructed. Finger tighten the nuts. Each CPSU sensor is provided with three feet of wire. You will need to provide the wire that extends from each sensor up to the Logic 5 operator. Do not run this wiring in the same conduit with AC power. If you're splicing to wire colors that differ from those of the CPSU sensors, be sure to note which color you splice to the white wire and to the white-black striped wire. At the operator, Locate the LMEP and common connectors on the terminal block on the logic board. Combine the solid white wires from both CPSU sensors, then fully insert them into the terminal block in the common position. Use a small screwdriver to tighten the screw that secures the wires. Now, Combine the white-black wires from both CPSU sensors, then fully insert them into the terminal block in the LMEP position. Tighten the screw to secure the wires. You'll need to restore power to the operator to complete the next steps. Align the photoelectric sensors by loosening the nuts and adjusting the positions of the sensors until both the receiver and emitter display solid green LEDs. Test the protector system to ensure the photoelectric sensors are working properly. Open the door fully and place an obstruction between the photoelectric sensors. The LEDs on both sensors should begin blinking. Stand clear of the door and give a close command. The door should not move. Remove the obstruction. The sensor LEDs should revert to solid green. Give another close command. The door should now close. Your installation is complete. Installing a second monitored photoelectric sensor requires the CPS3 card. Click the info icon to watch a video about installing a second set of monitored photo eyes. Be a champion of safety. Learn more about LiftMaster commercial door operators and entrapment protection products when you visit us on the web at liftmaster.com.